Taylor Swift, arguably the hottest musician, pop star in the world right now. <laughs> I mean, everyone's going... So many people are Swifties at the moment, and especially in Australia, she's here touring at the moment with her concerts and her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, and uh, a football star in the US has finished his um, playing in his Super Bowl and has come down to Australia to be with her. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? And they are arguably the, the biggest and hottest couple in the world at the moment. Okay. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I've uh, looked at their charts based on the available date of birth that's publicly available. That's the only thing that we have access to. And hopefully it is correct because the reading can only be as accurate as the date of birth is. So from that, we have Travis Kelsey being born on the 5th of October, 1989. So that has generated a chart that says he's a Yang Earth Daymaster with, and the other stems on his month is Yang Wood and on his year is Yin Earth. And he has dog in his spouse palace, the day, the month he has dog again, and the year he's actually a snake, surprisingly. And um, now... Looking at it as his chart, he's actually, he's a pretty easygoing guy, you know, and at this time, he's in a yin earth, sorry, at this time he is in the goat, luck cycle. Now on to Taylor Swift, we have her date of birth being the 13th of December, 1989. So that is what we're going on. And with her combination, she has, um, she is a yin fire day master uh, and her branch for the day is a goat as well, is a, go is a goat. And um, her month is yang fire rat and the year is yin earth snake. Now the luck cycle she is in, oh, by the way, I just noticed they're actually the same age born in the same year. So yes, it would make sense then. She's got, she is a snake in her year and same is Travis. Her spouse palace, which governs relationships and marriage and that sort of thing is the goat. Now, interesting enough, the luck cycle that Travis is in is a goat luck cycle as well. And Taylor is in the rabbit luck cycle at the moment. So rabbit and goat combine. So any combination with the house of spouse means a new relationship generally, you know, lots of love flowing around and that sort of thing. And as you know, yes, uh, I think they got together last year in the year of the rabbit and a rabbit as well combines again with her spouse palace. So she was feeling love, feeling the love in the air at the last year. And so she met someone that she really liked. And for Travis, last year being a year of the rab rabbit, also combines with his house of spouse of the dog. So there you go. There you go. They were both feeling the love last year. And so that's how... They're both, they're both open to a relationship. And so there was the attraction. And not only that, Travis's luck cycle at the moment, being the goat, combines with the rabbit of last year. So you've got very strong combinations. Very, uh, Yeah, and um, Taylor's, Taylor's luck cycle is the rabbit. So the same as last year. So very strong attraction between the both of them. And, and no doubt it happened last year. It all fits in. However, um, things aren't that cosy. <laughs> things aren't that cosy. You see, Taylor has a split chart. She has a wood and a fire combination. Here is uh, the issue for them. This year is the year of the dragon. 
And what does the dragon clash with? The dragon clashes with dog. The dog, which is Travis's house of spouse. The dog. So it, he won't be feeling the love this year as the year progresses. Okay, okay. I mean, especially April being the dragon month as well. That'll be a pretty tough time to put pressure on the relationship in April. And so he won't very much uh, be feeling it there, especially in April. But, you know, I think the feelings for him would, um, to her, would start to taper out this year because of that clash. So on one hand, you had last year being so good. They were so, you know, all over each other because the attraction was so strong. You had all that astrological energy push them, pushing them. Love, 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 love. And then this year with a clash on Travis's house of spouse, the dog there, uh, he's kind of like, oh, I don't really feel like it this year. So it's the big danger for them. And the thing is, look, if they do, if they're able to get through this um, this year, somehow if they're able to work it out, like, yes, this is another thing with getting an astrological chart reading for relationships. Because, you know, if you know beforehand when the clashes are going to happen, like for Travis, it's going to be this year, then with that knowledge, you can act on it. You can then, you know, understand why your partner's acting the way they are, you see. And so then you're kind of like, okay, he's just not being himself this year. But after this year, he should be fine. So if people know that, people know that this is only transitory and temporary, then they're more likely to accept, accept it and try to work things out or not answer back to their partner when their partner's going full throttle with the, I don't know, uh, shouting and screaming or, or whatever, that they're not, when they're not being themselves. And, you know, if you know that, then you hold off, you hold, bite your tongue for a year. After a year, you know that there is a definite end to it. Most people can work towards it. And so in that respect, this is also important to know, to get the reading so you're able to to um, nav navigate things, work around things in order to preserve the relationship, especially if it's a very good relationship, one that you want to keep, or especially the, if, since if there are lots of ch children involved and, you know, you don't want the children to lose a father or a mother or whatever. You want to keep it together or it's been so good for so many years, it's not worth Letting, you don't want to let go of it. And if you knew and you had this information, uh, you can be able to navigate and keep this, keep the, keep the relationship or the marriage. Okay. Now, the thing with Travis and, and Taylor, if they do manage to get over this year, this clash year for him and end up, the, if they do marry, then they face another obstacle um, in about 10 years time when Travis goes into his next phase, which is the horse. Now horse and dog combine. Okay. Horse and dog combine. And so because of that and issues again with the house of spouse and for Taylor, her next luck cycle, she'll go into the dragon and not so good. The dragon is not, is like I say, a clash with the dog. There's an issues. The thing with the luck cycle clash, luck cycles, each luck cycle lasts for 10 years. You have a stem part and the branch part. So the stem part, which would be the element part. And in Travis's case, it's yang metal. And the branch is usually the animal sign. Well, it is the animal sign, which for him would be the horse. So it would be yang metal horse. Now, each part governs five years. So the first part of here, five years would be yang metal. And the next five years would be the horse. 
However, it's not cut and dry. There is a bit of overlap um, or transition period between the stem, the metal, and the horse, his branch. It's about two years. So as you get on to coming out of, say, um, and the metal, the stem part, there's about two years transity there. Of course, the branch would start exerting an influence. Weaker, but it would start exerting an influence. And as you get cl closer to that horse time, it gets stronger. So the effect we're talking about five to seven years. Now, the thing is, most people can deal with an irate partner for a year. You know, it's only a year you can do it. But if you're asking for five to seven years, that gets tricky. I mean, that then becomes an onus on the other partner. It's very difficult to keep, you know, biting your tongue when you're being yelled and screamed at for five to seven years. Most people can't. And that's also a reason why you have very long-term couples, couples with, you know, silver anniversaries or being married for 30 years and all of a sudden they divorce. And that becomes a shock to everyone They're saying, they were so happy. How can they divorce after so long like this? And that's usually because they come across this, the clash with their house of spouse in the luck cycle, which is like going to last five to seven years. So you cannot deal with it. So the ideal time is if you're going to come up with a clash to meet after that. So then it becomes more or less plain sailing. Okay. And so because of that, Travis and, and Taylor are going to face this clash coming up in their next luck cycle on the house of spouse and also another combination on the house of spouse. If they do get through this year and marry, it's likely that they will divorce in the next luck cycle. So a lot of pressure coming astrologically wise. So that's my... Um, thoughts on, the, on them. Very difficult if they're young and probably quite fickle, if they had a lot of relationships and they come up to difficulty in a relationship, it's more likely they'll just walk away, throw in the towel. No, I don't want to deal with this. This is too hard, especially for people that are in the spotlight. They've got money, they've got fame, and they're used to getting their own way with things and not having to put up with any hardship. I'll put that nicely. <laughs>